Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you can password protect a Microsoft Word document. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft. All right, well, let's jump into it. Uh, here I am on my desktop and I have Microsoft Word that comes with Office 365. Uh, just opened it up. This is the latest version of Word. Why would you want to password protect a Word document? Well, maybe you have super critical information in your document that you don't want other people to access. Um, oh, here I have my important financial data and this is my income statement. So <laughs> you can see things like I have job income, uh, YouTube revenue. Yeah, making that much money on YouTube. Sure. Um, keep dreaming, Kevin. And uh, then I have, so that's my total revenue. Then I have different expenses. I got my credit card, my mortgage, and hey, student loans, you always have to pay those back. They never seem to go away. Um, and then I have my total expenses by month and by year. And then you can see what my income loss before taxes is. So this is pretty sensitive information that I don't want to make available to others and I don't want other people to see, even though I'm putting this as part of a video on YouTube. Um, so what I could do is to make this private, I'm just going, I'm going to click on file and then you'll see when you click on the file menu, there's something called info. And what you'll see is within the info view, there's something called protect document. So I'm going to click on that. And one of the things you'll see is that you could encrypt with password. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see now that I could just type in a password and it says caution. If you lose or forget the password, it cannot be recovered. It is advisable to keep a list of passwords and their corresponding document names in a safe place. And it's also case sensitive. Basically what they're saying is you lose a password, you're never going to be able to open that document. You basically lost it for good. Uh, so make sure that when you password protect it, you're going, to, you're going to remember what that password is or write it down. Um, so what I'm going to do is because this is such sensitive information, I'm going to choose a super secure password and we're just going to type in password because that's actually the most popular password on the planet. Um, in fact, a lot of times when people break into other people's accounts, they just use that as a default password. I don't know why people said it, but a lot of people do. Uh, so I'm just going to do that uh, just for this example here. We type in password and then it makes me re-enter it just to make sure I didn't make a mistake as I was typing it and we're going to click OK. So now it says a password is required to open this document. So what we're going to do is I'm going to save, I'm going to close the document and now we're going to reopen the document. Uh, so I have the document here on my recent list and now it says enter password to open file. And once again, my password is password. I'm going to click OK. And then there you have it. There's my sensitive information uh, encrypted behind a password. Uh, this is something you could do is if you put a document on the cloud, let's say you're storing it on OneDrive or G Drive. Uh, not only is it pretty safe in the cloud, but then you could also password protect the document. So let's say someone were to break into your account and access your document, they wouldn't be able to open it unless they have that password. And unlike me, please set a password that's better than what I set on this document. You probably already realize that, but set something that's secure that's not going to be easy to guess. Um, and this just adds an extra layer of protection uh, to your content that you're creating. Uh, you could do this same thing in Excel and PowerPoint as well, um, but I just wanted to show this example in Word. Uh, if you're able to protect some of your sensitive information and it's harder for other people to steal that, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. And if there are any other things that you want to learn, anything else that you're trying to find, you know, how do I do this or that, uh, shoot a note in the comments, leave an idea, and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.